Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Daisy DIY. Today I'm sharing with you guys four easy home decor DIYs. I hope you enjoy. If you do, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Today I'm taking part of in a thrift store flip collab that has been hosted by the Macy Sandra from the DIY show in Nice. She has a thrift store flip collab each month and I was an honor to be part of this collab. I will leave the link of her channel below and also the playlist of this wonderful friends that they take part of this collab i hope you enjoy if you do please don't forget to give us a big thumbs up thank you so much For the first project, I'm going to be using this wood tray that I had on hand. It's for my daughter's and she had it for a really long time. So you guys can see it was already broken. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to be using this sandpaper so I can start sanding the edges of the wood tray because you guys can see some of the wood it came out. So it was not even. So I decided to sand it first. And to glue this part back together, I'm going to do a combination of wood glue and hot glue for a strong hole. And to reinforce it, I'm going to be using a little bit of more hot glue on the edges of the wood tray. So to paint it, I'm going to be using the Ristola chalkboard paint on color white that I got from Amazon. So I'm going to do first one coat and once it's completely dry, I'm going to do a second coat. So you guys can see my daughter, she helped me paint this part because she was really excited because it's her wood tray and she wanted to help me in this DIY. Also, I decided to paint the edges of the wood tray and also the back so it can has a finished look. The next thing, I'm going to be using this image that I had on hand. I cannot remember from where I got it. I'm so sorry. So what I did, I just put my wood tray on the bottom and I just placed my image on the top and I just kind of trace it so we can mark it at the side that we need it. And to cut it, I'm just going to use my scissors. So you guys can see, once I put my image inside of the tray, it was a little bit bigger. So the next thing that I did, I just marked once again the image and I just trace it. And once it was done, I just used my scissors to cut it. I'm going to use this mud patch that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to do one coat and I just decide to do first half of the wood tray with mud patch and put my image because it was a little bit bigger and I just want to prevent the image has a lot of wrinkles so I decided to do first this step and it works pretty well for me this time. So once I was done I decided to put another coat of mud patch on the top so we can seal the image Also, I decided to mark a little bit the letters because it was kind of blurry to me. I know in, in camera it shows pretty good the letters, but in person it was pretty blurry. So I decided to mark the letters a little bit. Also, I decided to distress the edges of the wood tray. And I'm just using my marker to do this step and it works pretty well for me. If you guys want, you guys can use any color black and it will look really beautiful too. And this is how it looks our project once we're done. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think about this project? I think it turned out really beautiful. My daughter love it how it turns out. And she's really happy that she has a new wood tray that she's going to be playing with it.
For our second project, I'm going to be using this basket that I had on hand. I had it for a really long time. So to paint it, I'm going to be using this Ristolin chalkboard paint on color white. And I'm just going to do one coat first and I'm just going to let it dry. And once it's completely dry, I'm going to do a second coat. So you guys can see, I'm not painting it all the way because I want the color brand to show a little bit. Also, I decided to paint inside of the basket and also the handle. The next thing we're going to be using a piece of cardboard. I didn't measure anything. I just kind of eyeball it. So I just create a circle first. And once I was done, I'm just going to be using this image that I had on hand. I'm so sorry. I cannot remember from where I got it once again. I decided to paint the top of the cardboard. And for that, I'm using the Restoring Chalkboard Paint on color white. So I just did one coat and I just let it dry. Also, I just paint the edges of the cardboard so once it was completely dry I'm going to put my image on the top I'm going to be using this mud patch to put it so I'm going to put the image on the side that we didn't paint it because I want the paint part to be on the back so it can have a finished look and once we're done I'm going to do another coat on mud patch to seal the image so it can hold very well I'm going to use a piece of this jute twine that I had on hand and I just measure at the side of the circle. So once I was done, I just decided to distress it a little bit and for that I'm just using the Restoring Chalkboard Paint on color white. So you guys can see I'm just using a little bit of paint. The next thing we're going to do, we're just going to glue the jute twine around the circle and for that I'm just using hot glue to glue it. So you guys can see, I just have an extra jute twine. So for that, I just use my scissors to cut it and I just reinforce it with more hot glue at the end of the jute twine. And this is how it looks once you're done. So I'm just gonna place it right here in the middle of the basket. And to glue it, I'm just gonna use hot glue. Also, I decided to create this small bow to put it right here because it seems like I was missing something. And to glue it, I just use hot glue and also to put inside of the basket, I'm just going to put a few pieces of this grenier that I had on hand. Let me know in the comments down below, what do you guys think about our second project? For the next project, I'm going to be using this jewelry box that I had on hand. It was a gift from my neighbors that she moved and it was really special to me that she gave me something that it was really special for her. So I was kind of scared to do a project because I was like, what about if I messed it up? But it turned out really beautiful. And to paint it, I'm going to be using this Restoring Chalkboard Paint on color white. So I decided to use a little bit of painter's tape to cover all these metal parts. I decide to do one coat first and once it was completely dry I decide to do a second coat so you guys can see I'm not painting it all the way because I just want the wood to show a little bit The next thing, I'm going to be using this sandpaper that I got from the olive tree and I'm just going to start distressing it a little bit, especially on the edges.
once we're done, I'm just going to remove the painter's tape. The next thing, I'm going to be using this rub on transfer that I got from Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to be cutting a few pieces of this greenery to put it on the top. I'm just going to place it this way. So I'm just going to be using my fingers to put it. Once it was done, I decided to use another few pieces of this greenery to put it right here on the top. So I really don't know what happened with my image. But the other thing that I did, I just used one coat of Mod Podge on the top so we can seal it very well so it won't come up really easy. And this is how it looks once we're done. Let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think about this project. I think it turned out really beautiful. I just love it how it turns out. For our last project, I'm going to be using this picture frame that I had on hand. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to be using the Restolent Chalkboard Paint on color white to paint it. So you guys can see, I'm not painting it all the way because I want the color black to show a little bit. So I decided to do first one coat and once it was completely dry, I decided to do a second coat. So once it was completely dry, I'm going to be using this sandpaper that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to start distressing the edges of the sign. I'm going to use this image that I had on hand. I cannot remember from where I got it. What I did, I just used that glass to put it on the top of the image. And with my pencil, I'm just going to mark it at the side that we need it. So once I was done, I just used my scissors to cut it. So once we're done, we just put the frame all together. Also, I decided to put a few pieces of this greenery right here on the bottom of the sign. Because I was missing something, so I just put the two pieces together. And once it was done I decide to use hot glue to glue it. Also I decide to put a small bow right here so we can cover this middle part of the greenery and I'm just going to use again hot glue to glue it. And this is how it looks our project once we're done let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think about our last project i think all four projects they turned out really beautiful but please let me know in the comments down below which one it was your favorite from all the projects So that was it for today's video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified every time that I upload new video. And please don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you so much and have an amazing day.